in Russia and need to cross the Vitim River. Beware the Puendinsky Bridge. Only six feet wide, it's more of a death trap than a bridge. It barely fits one car, has no side railings, and becomes terrifyingly icy when wet. It also sways dangerously in the wind, and its wooden planks are rotting and falling off. And it isn't even the most dangerous bridge in the world. Today, we're counting down the most terrifying bridges across the globe. Like this seriously spine-tinglingly tall one in China. Buckle up. Unlike some of the thin, wobbly bridges on the list, the Sidu River Bridge is no small structure. It's one of the tallest in the world, standing at 1,500 feet above China's Sidu River. It's so tall that workers used rockets when constructing it, and all of Shanghai's Oriental Pearl Tower would fit underneath. Don't worry though, it's designed to hold over 43 million tons of weight, but its terrifying heights earn this bridge a 3 out of 10 on our Bravometer. In Nepal, 443 feet above the ground is the Hanging Bridge of Gasa. It's just as frightening as it sounds. It's only safe for pedestrians, but Sherpas and farmers use it to move their donkeys, cows, and produce. It's 1,128 feet long and isn't wide enough for two people to pass each other. So if you make it halfway and someone else is coming, you'll have to turn back. It's like this next bridge, if you want to call it that. The longest walkway in Ghana is the seven connected bridges known as the Canopy Walk. And they're barely bridges at all. These very simple footbridges are made of wire ropes and wooden planks stretching across the treetops high above the forest floor. The canopy walk is so narrow that only one person can cross at a time. Leading from an old mine into a completely abandoned ghost town, the Puente de Oela suspension bridge is rickety and not for the faint of heart. It is 1,043 feet long and very narrow. It dates back to the 19th century and has barely been updated since then, earning it a solid 5 out of 10 on today's Bravometer. In Vancouver, Canada, brave travelers can test their resistance to vertigo on the famous Capilano Suspension Bridge. Hanging 70 meters over the Capilano River, this bridge has seen its fair share of fatalities. A man fell to his death trying to catch a falling debit card in 2012. In 2010, a 17-year-old climbed over the side and didn't survive the fall. Did you know that the first modern suspension bridge was built almost 200 years ago? The Menai Bridge stretches from Bangor, Wales to the Isle of Angsley in Great Britain. The waters underneath it were dangerous to sail in, so the bridge made it safer to travel from London to Holyhead. In India, the living bridges of Meghalaya are walking bridges that connect different groups of the Khasi tribe. These unique bridges are made of rubber tree roots. It takes 15 to 30 years to build one, slowly training the roots to grow over a temporary frame and intertwine to support weight. Tribal communities develop the bridges to cross over the river rapids that run through the valleys, but the bridges can be dangerous if the water is too high. If you have no fear of heights whatsoever, the Langkawi Sky Bridge in Malaysia might be just the bridge for you. This footbridge connects two mountain peaks, and it's more than 610 meters above the ground, making it one of the tallest in the world. After just seven years in service, the authorities closed the bridge for repairs and renovations. It's back in operation today, though. It earns an 8 out of 10 on our Bravometer today. Created in 2004 to allow workers to access a power plant in Switzerland, this impressive suspension bridge is now a popular tourist spot. And luckily, its original ropes got replaced with strong steel in 2009. It spans 170 meters, hangs more than 91 meters above the valley, and sways back and forth in the strong icy wind. Stretched across the Royal Gorge in Colorado, the Royal Gorge Bridge has been around since 1929. It had to be repaired in the 1970s to withstand the impressive 200 km an hour winds that ripped through the gorge. Made mostly of wood and standing 291 meters above the Arkansas River, it's considered the tallest suspension bridge in the U.S. Finally, our top spot has to go to the Husseini Hanging Bridge in Pakistan. Connecting two villages in the mountains and costing 300 rupees to cross, this simple structure is mostly ropes and planks, with some seriously wide gaps to watch out for. 
Trying to cross this roughly 152 meter long bridge could seem like it takes forever if you're hanging on for dear life as it swings in the breeze about 30 meters above the river. It's so dangerous that children and the elderly are forbidden from using the bridge. Its terrifying gaps earn this bridge a solid 10 out of 10 on the Bravometer. Would you cross it? Tell us in the comments. <laughs>